Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Pemco number 216 BV Mill Finish Extruded Bronze, also Architectural Bronze are known as Brass, Door Bottom Shoe. So it's unusual to review such an exquisite piece of hardware. Uh, this is a piece of solid architectural bronze. It has a door bottom or door shoe with a, with a drip cap. This thing weighs six and a half pounds as a four foot piece, so it's 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 substantial. It's it's massive, uh, and it's really uh, it's really gorgeous. It's in the mill finish, which is what the brass or bronze will look like when it comes from the mill. There's no finishing on it at all, like a satin finish or a polished brass finish or an oil rub finish, which are all available uh, in the website. Uh, a door bottom like this is going to be used uh, in, a, in a situation where you need to obviously seal the bottom of the door, exterior door, with an integrated drip cap like you see here, and used on a door that's probably made of bronze, uh, Chicago City Hall. The perimeter of that building has solid, uh, well it has architectural bronze doors on it, and while I've never seen these installed on those, but that would be an ideal application to have something that's going to take a significant amount of use uh, the front doors to City Hall in a major major city uh, or a bus station a Greyhound bus station you know any any extremely high volume application could really uh, stand to benefit from the significant investment and in what a piece of architectural bronze would cost this material is going to last for decades that's the bottom line someone would order it in mill finish because there may not be a reason to put a finish on it in terms of satin polished or oil rubbed uh, or they might want it to age as bronze brass is going to do uh, naturally when exposed to the elements that could be the design um, you know museums are going to have museum doors will have this kind of material on it now the atoms uh, pretty heavy so uh, I'll try to struggle through giving you some dimensions there's an image below this video showing um, everything important dimensionally about it and I'm going to say that this will deviate a little bit from uh, the image that is there because an extrusion for solid bronze I think is typically less common than what you're going to have for an aluminum product. Uh, first of all, the, th the rest of the part number, the 216 is a door bottom. You can get it in aluminum base or bronze base like this. Okay, the B stands for bronze. The V means that the seal material is vinyl, just a standard duty sort of item. Uh, that you're going to get with a lot of uh, material. This little dimple that you see here, that's there by purpose. It's there to hold the seal in from sliding in and out. You don't want it to come out from where it's supposed to be. So dimensionally, this is obviously for inch and three quarter doors only. You can see that that's the case. And while you look at that, you know, you can see the, the wall thickness of the bronze is just substantial. It's massive. Okay. Now let's get an idea of the projection of the drip cap itself. Looks like it's about 5 sixteenths of an inch from the face of here to the outside face of this. Let me put that down. And not that it's a critical dimension for you to know, but nonetheless, since we're, we're doing this. Uh, no, I'd say it's 3 eighths every bit of three eighths you know what take all that back it's seven sixteenths so from the face of the drip itself to the face of the bottom is seven sixteenths of an inch you got a five eighths leg over here I won't throw the tape measure well why not a bit hard for you to see but it's five eighths of an inch uh, Probably the most critical dimension. Okay, it, it's it's one in five sixteenths from the top of this to the bottom of this drip cap. It's getting a bit. It's too heavy to really hold and try to put a tape measure on without it getting jumbled around. Uh, the most critical dimension is going to be half of an inch from the underside of the extrusion here to the bottom of the sill, uh, the ceiling material, the vinyl. That's critical. You're going to want to make sure that you can accommodate a half of an inch. If you've got three quarter inch there, that might be a little bit tough to seal with this. And if you've got anything less than half inch, you know, like five sixteenths, this is not going to work out really well for you. 
know what your undercut is, know what you're dealing with before you order this. Um, there is, moving forward, uh, we've talked about there being uh, different finishes available. There's also every different length that you really need in the website as well of this item, several different lengths of each of those finishes. If you have need for a custom length, by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and indicate in the comment field what length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. The reasoning is, if you had to take this 48 inch piece and cut it down to say 44 inch, you're going to eliminate that slotted hole. Then the next one's all the way over here, okay? And, you know, it's nice to have that slotted hole because it's going to give you an ability to adjust this to an uneven sill, okay? Or maybe a door that's not plumb. Additionally, you know, when you're drilling into the door, you know, the drill bit has a tendency to walk a little bit if you've not, you know, used a center punch to mark the hole. If you're drilling into steel or wood or, or brass, bronze, stainless, uh, aluminum, fiberglass. Uh, so that slotted hole is really nice to have to help compensate for that hole being ever so slightly out of place as well. Plus, it, you know, it's that tailoring to get it just right uh, is why it's really there. Um, screws are included. These are not brass. These are magnetic. And the reasoning for doing so is, um, I would think, to give you some strength, you know, in the material of not tearing the brass screw apart. I would think for the for this application, you probably want a steel screw. But I suppose you could substitute those uh, if you wanted to uh, with whatever you were doing. Uh, so if you have need for a custom length, by all means order the next longest piece or pieces. We'll not only locate that slotted hole in the proper distance from the edge, but the proper center to center as well. Um, I'm a big fan of ordering it cut to length. Uh, no reason to have to cut this again. They will send the seal out long, which is typical and common. You'll just simply trim that however you see fit. Uh, Pemco is a full line manufacturer of all things weather stripping related. Not only those less common items like a solid architectural bronze uh, uh, door bottom like this, but the regular material like thresholds, perimeter gasketing, door sweeps, aluminum based products, stainless based products, architectural bronze based products. They have a full line of residential weather stripping as well, like foam, in, foam curved in style weather stripping and things like oak adjustable top thresholds. If you have any questions on the Pemco 216 BV Mill Brass Solid bra Architectural Bronze Door Bottom or any other Pemco product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.